All right, hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. This may be uh, one of the last things I record here before E3 takes off. I've got a lot I want to upload, but uh, we'll see what happens. Nonetheless, this is Sunday, June 9th, 2013, here in the U.S. Uh, it's an important day because it's the day Animal Crossing New Leaf is released. Uh, there is the deal yesterday I guess up in New York City you know where they had it a day early and uh, and quite a few people were actually selected as mayor as part of kind of like a you know PR campaign get kind of the uh, news out on the game kind of some reviews and feedback and excitement for it prior to launch but uh, it is of course available only for the Nintendo 3DS where did I get it Toys R Us the price $34.99 uh, why did I go to Toys R Us? They do not have the buy one get one 40% off like we had with Donkey Kong. Uh, again, I could not unbox that one because of the strip throat, so I just kind of like took pictures of it. So, you know, my apologies there. But, uh, oddly enough, that was honestly the best deal of Toys R Us this time around. Uh, Everywhere else, it was just retail. There were absolutely zero pre-order bonuses for us, kind of like with Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Uh, other places, you know, got the tie, I think, through EB Games. I think EB Games, again, was like giving out a little Isabella house or something along those lines. Uh, we got nothing uh, here in the U.S., so uh, the best deal since you're going to have to pay, you know, retail price for it, uh, no sales or anything, is through Toys R Us. That's why Hot Dog, as you can see there, is uh, holding this card. This is just a uh, $5 gift card. You know, obviously I don't think you can use it at the time of purchase, but uh, it essentially makes the game $29.99 if you want to look at it that way. If not, it's regular price, but uh, next time a game comes out that you want, you can take $5 off of it. Uh, truly about all I can tell you, again, if you plan to pick it up and you don't already have it, uh, GameStop, Walmart, Best Buy, uh, Tar everywhere, uh, that's going to have it is going to be retail as best I know. With the exception of Toys R Us, you get the $5 gift card. If you're going to pay $35, I figure you might as well get yourself the best deal. So, uh, tweeted that late, I guess early this morning by the time I got around to tweeting it. But uh, that's what I did. As you can see, it's real. Uh, I was afraid they might be sold out. Toys R Us, they actually hadn't even put the game out. It was still in the back. No one knew it was supposed to be out or something. Uh, then they also did not know about the $5 gift card. But uh, all turned out in the end. I told them to go to page 6 of the circular. So uh, That said, I don't have a knife over here for some reason. So we're going to use a key. This is the front cover rated E for everyone playable 2D and 3D for ages 7 plus. Again, you can restrict that for your kids. Uh, not to sound lame, but I don't ever use 3D. It's like real funky. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's cool in like really limited situations, but in all honesty, I just prefer you know the good old fashioned 2D stuff. But uh, Animal Crossing, very popular series. This will be my first foray into the game. Uh, I was always going to pick up City Folk when it dropped like 19.99 on the Wii, but I haven't done it. Uh, so this will be my first entry. It's supposed to be a very cool game from what I understand. On the back, welcome to your new life. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to read. Uh, basic reading ability, ironically, is needed to fully enjoy the game. So. Uh, if you're buying this for your children, you know, make sure they can read coherently, you know, otherwise they can still probably wing it. They're just probably going to ask you a lot of questions. Uh, something's always happening in the world of Animal Crossing. Make your mark as mayor. Keep building and your neighbors, keep yourself and your neighbors happy by building a town that fits your style. Uh, next caption is going to be right over here. Uh, Non-stop fun every single day. Spend days and nights exploring an exciting world with your amazing new animal friends. Uh, down here, design your home and style your character. Decorate and remodel to suit your sense of style. Experiment with new clothes and accessories. And then lastly, this kind of uh, hits up on the new element of the game. Visit friends' towns or have them visit yours. Travel to see your buddies and showcase your home via street pass. Again, that's really hard to read, uh, not because it's just small print, but 
going through the camera and there's like really bad glares coming off of it and I want it to be where you can actually see the stuff not just me uh, interesting thing with this game local play you've got versus and co-op two to four internet you've got versus uh, and co-op two to four and then the reason that I went ahead and picked this up even though I probably should have been at home getting ready is street pass and spot pass street pass you exchange home and player data and spot pass you receive letters town home and player data uh, at E3, the Nintendo bigwigs are there, uh, Miyamoto, Iwata, you know, they had that picture on Twitter with uh, them and Reggie kind of in the mix already. Uh, I assume everyone at the booth at Nintendo, you know. Uh, bottom line, I'm hoping to get some really cool stuff, not only for Street Pass tags, you know, as in the Mii Plaza, Puzzle Swap, and Find Me, Secret Quest, etc. But uh, games in general, maybe like some cool stuff, you know, time records, whatnot, so... Uh, calming mischiefs about your only concern in this one. Again, this one's probably like a really PG game. Uh, what is this key? Even? I don't even know what the key goes to. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the plastic off. Now. And I didn't really get to gripe about it uh, in the Donkey Kong unboxing because it wasn't a video, it was just pictures, but I did gripe about it in the blog post. Uh, as you know, manuals have gone, I mean, back in the day, like my NES days growing up, you know, it would be like real short black and white, and then by the time like Sega Genesis rolled around, they started getting to be pretty cool, and uh, then by the time you had like the tail end of Genesis and then like PlayStation era coming into play, I mean, manuals were super thick, they crammed all the information into them, tips and tricks, they went from black and white to falls apart almost like something you print out at your house and staple uh, to like full color really cool things uh, the Nintendo DS games uh, kinda kept that vibe going they had long manuals most of them full color uh, the Professor Layton ones come to mind uh, really cool add a lot to it and then uh, obviously environmental type stuff trying to be green safe paper uh, 3DS games went to kind of like that fold-out poster. It's like four deals. It kind of has like your base moves and everything. Donkey Kong Country Returns had nothing. And uh, I was a little disappointed by that just because, I mean, I'm the type. I would like to have something. Uh, I mean, back in the day, you know, you get like the bonus pictures and everything, posters that fold out and whatnot. I'm actually excited to see what this is like. Uh, again, I don't actually look at this stuff ahead of time. It's kind of new to me. Uh, it's probably going to be disappointing. But... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> maybe Donkey Kong is on a budget or something. But uh, right here, that's our first look at the cartridge itself. Very uh, coming through that camera. That is very, very vibrant. Uh, the colors really pop. It's just Animal Crossing. Uh, Again, you know, those windows are there in Japan. They get, like, full-color art and stuff that comes through. It's really neat. But uh, that's all there is to that. We will come in now, pull everything. That's our uh, blank case, if you will. Nearly took Fright Rider out. <laughs> this is, of course, a Club Nintendo game. That means underneath the flyers I'm holding above this, there's actually a code, you go to club, or actually nintendo.com, click on Club Nintendo, enter that PIN number. If you are not a member of Club Nintendo, uh, I suggest you sign up. It's absolutely free. Uh, you can get emails on upcoming releases, uh, insights, things like that. More importantly, you get free stuff. Uh, for every game you register, you can usually, with their big releases, it's getting cloudy now, so that's why it's darker. Uh, but the way it works, you know, like... I don't know, we'll say that they announce, you know, Smash Bros. 3DS at E3 or something. Before the game comes out, and that's me speaking theoretically, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but that's just what came to mind. You can go in, say, yes, I plan to buy the game, then when you actually buy and register it within a certain window, you get plus 10 coins. Uh, you complete a survey, then you actually register the game. That's usually proportional to the dollar amount. Sometimes with Nintendo... Uh, IPs, you'll actually get like bonus coins, and then post play surveys I believe are 10, and uh, ultimately that stuff adds up. Uh, in addition, you also get like uh, 
you know, hardware, extended warranties and whatnot. But there's some really cool stuff exclusive to Club Nintendo. And like I said, you're getting it for free, you know. And then every year if you hit platinum or gold, you know, you actually get the choice of, you know, some free downloadable games or like an exclusive gift. If you recall when I unboxed those Mario playing cards, that's what that was. We'll go ahead and start out this way. Uh, if you like Animal Crossing New Leaf, be sure to check out Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, fitting for the year of Luigi. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, which does not have a full color booklet like this one. And Lego City Undercover The Chase Begins. I want to pick that up. It's $29.99, but in all honesty, I have yet to put the Wii U game in the Wii U. Uh, so I'm kind of holding off there. <laughs> so, this is just kind of pushing some other stuff. Uh, looks like we've got uh, eShop, 3DS titles, download, Nintendo video. Uh, here's a little bit more information on each of those titles if you're curious. Uh, all should be really good games. I've played a little of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and Donkey Kong. I've enjoyed both of them. Uh, again, here lately, just been strapped for time. But much to my surprise, I was fully expecting us to not have this. And again, I know it's really thin and simple very simple but uh i like having them you know that's why i don't download the game at midnight i actually like to have you know the physical stuff in hand when you spend 35 dollars uh, coming in i mean this side is just totally your you know legal bs stuff no one really cares about uh basic controls they've got those outlined for us take a photo walk uh, change tool actions open your pockets uh, communication, yada yada, play together on the island, uh, check out homes in the showcase, upload dreams, dream suite, download presents, so it kind of outlines all those online features. Again, my batteries are about to die, I'm not going to read all that to you, but uh, for the people that are concerned about it maybe not having it or you know they want it, etc., uh, here it is. So you do get the yeah, nice, it's just a three page fold out, kind of a tri fold thing. But uh, the color, I don't know what it is, if it's just like the blue sky and the water and the grass uh, and maybe like the bright characters, but I mean, this is like really, really vibrant. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I'll hold up the gift card and I mean, you can kind of, that just it pops like disproportionately compared to other things. Uh, that said, that is it. That's what you get. It's uh, $34.99 everywhere right now, being a... Uh, one of their big releases, and uh, one of the, this has been very anticipated for a long time. Uh, when they first announced it, I don't think anyone thought it would like be pushed back to 2013. But uh, based on what I've read and you know heard from people, uh, it's a really enjoyable game. Uh, like I said, this will be my first jump into the series. Uh, I mean, obviously this isn't going to be like your action or racer or first-person shooter type stuff, but uh, I kind of view like the Professor Layton stuff. It's just a really neat change of pace, uh, something kind of more low-key casual. It is, I will warn you, supposed to be very addictive. I've heard that with everything Animal Crossing, uh, kind of Harvest Moon type thing for those of you that played that series. Uh, essentially, there's stuff every day, and uh, you could possibly miss something if you don't play. Uh, that works out well for some, doesn't for others. But the bottom line is I think you'll have fun. It will probably stay at the $35 mark for quite a while. Uh, if the price does drop before Christmas, it's probably only going to be to like $29.99, so not going to be a huge savings if you wait it out. Uh, that said, right now, best deal, Toys R Us, you get the $5 gift card. Uh, if for some reason your store does not know about it like mine did not, uh, go ahead and tell them to pull up the circular. You know, don't, it's only $5, but don't screw yourself out of it, you know, so... Uh, but that's that. I am excited to play it if I get the free time, like maybe after E3 and all that stuff's processed and taken care of. Uh, I'll come in on the blog, post up my town name. Uh, not quite sure what the particulars will be to share it and have people come over, but you know, if it's something I can figure out and people are interested, I'll post up. Uh, that way we can check out each other's towns and whatnot. Hopefully uh, help progress in the game as well. But it is Club Nintendo. Uh, that's a huge perk there. Did have the brochure. I was happy about that. And uh, 
hopefully when I head off to E3, uh, maybe I can like land some really cool stuff from the uh, Nintendo guys or something, and gals. Uh, they should have some of those on hand. But uh, I'm excited about the game for the simple fact it'll be brand new. If you haven't started with the series like myself, this is probably a great time to get involved. And uh, then if you love it, you can go back and you can pick up the previous titles. Uh, if you hate it, yeah, you know, I guess since it's new, you can get a little bit more, you know, on your trade in or when you sell it, something like that. But uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. $34.99 is retail. Currently, the best deal is Toys R Us. That should run through next Saturday uh, if you can't get up there, or, you know, have some downtime, etc. But uh, questions, comments you can ask here on YouTube for a quicker response. I suggest you use the blog link at the top of the video description. The blog can be found at oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here. Uh, maybe after E3 now, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Again, we got some new polls on the blog, and uh, if for some reason I've got downtime in L.A. or something really cool happens Animal Crossing-wise with Nintendo, I'll probably get that up on Twitter or the blog as quick as I can. And uh, last but not least, somewhere out here in the sunlight and the shadows is Chase McCain. Uh, if you see him, feel free to post up. And once again, thanks for watching, and uh, I will catch you back here next time.